2016 Mercedes C220 DAMG Line Coupe Review What is it? While it's best to swerve cliches, sometimes you just have to play the platitudes to avoid having an elephant in the room. So, let's get the trot bit out of the way from the off. Doesn't this new Mercedes C-Class Coupe look rather like the Mini S-Class Coupe? And from where I'm standing, that's rather a good thing. Whereas the old car was all angles and lines, this bigger 2016 version, it's 40 mm wider, 95 mm longer, with an extra 80 mm between its wheels, hides its extra metal in gracious swoops and elegant curves, albeit with a bit of glitz or chintz, depending on your viewpoint from the diamond effect grille with chrome pins. It shares little bodywork with the C-Class saloon, other than its front wings and bonnet, while underneath there's a new for-link front suspension setup and an adapted version of the saloon's multi-link arrangement at the rear. It's been lowered by 15 mm all round, two mechanical springs, non-selectable adaptive dampers and a variable steering rack are the default spec on the entry sport model, but if you go for this AMG line trim, Everything is tautered with the aim of greater ability. The big deal is the option of fully adjustable air suspension, the first in this coupe class. It's a not wholly unreasonable 895 pounds, and judging by our experience of it here, is well worth the extra. What's it like? It's noticeably better than the old car. For starters the front end feels more connected and willing to turn in, and in comfort mode the steering has good assistance building weight more intuitively than that of a BMW for series coupe. It doesn't have buckets of old school feel, and in sport mode it becomes a bit too heavy, but you can mix and match the settings to compensate. In sport it pumps a bit more air into those springs and feels all the more planted as a result. It holds itself together admirably across rapid roads, and if you barrel into a bend there is a hint of roll, but once it settles, the C-Class coupe earns your trust. Even when the stakes are high and long, fast, sweepers, you feel you can rely on its inherent stability and balance. It's still more of a blunt instrument than a 4 Series, which has a little more finesse, but there's no doubting its effectiveness. The Mercedes will outdo the BMW in terms of comfort, however, even in this sportier AMG line guys, toggle the dynamic select switch back to comfort and it relaxes the springs and even on 18 in wheel that patters over the worst bumps and ridges. That speed there's a bit of wind noise from around the door mirrors, plus the tires kick up a bit of in over course surfaces, but the same criticisms apply to the BMW. While the new, optional 9-speed automatic gearbox is snappy enough when you manually pull the paddles, in auto mode it flurs away through its many race shows without you ever really noticing and when it's at a steady 70 mph in top gear the engine's pulling just 1350 rpm, so you barely notice that, either. That said, whenever you need to accelerate, the gruff sounding twin turbo 2.1 liter diesel is the weak link, letting out a particularly coarse rumble. It's reasonably quick, mine, but we reckon the more powerful C250 is still a better choice, making even more sense in this coupe than it does in the saloon. The interior looks fabulous and far more interesting than anything else in the class. However, when you start fiddling, the sense of quality does feel only skin deep in places. A wobbly bold eye air vent and yet another rattle from a Stuttgart product are a warning that Mark needs to maintain, rather than merely rely on, its reputation for quality. There's no denying it's a great place to sit though, with plenty of space up front plus a superb, low-set driving position and enveloping seats. If you're tall and faced with a choice between sitting in the rear of a C-Class Coupe or a 4 Series Coupe, do pick the BMW. The mark is okay for average size folk, but suffers a noticeable deficiency in both head and legroom compared to its Munich rival. That said, the boots of good size, and folding rear seats add to its practicality. Should I buy one, buying a Coupe is far more of an emotive decision than practical one. So if it's a choice between a C-Class Coupe and a 4 Series Coupe, no matter what we say, you'll probably end up choosing the one that most floats your boat aesthetically. The good news is that either way you'll be making a sound decision. Without the luxury of a back-to-back -back test it seems that the BMW still has the edge for handling, but the Mercedes makes up for that by co-sitting you more with its sumptuous ride, at least as tested here. If only that was supplemented by a smoother diesel engine. It might even be a class leader, just like its biggest class brother. 
Mercedes-Benz C220 D Coupe AMG line buying a coupe is far more of an emotive decision than practical one. So if it's a choice between a C-Class coupe and a 4 Series coupe, no matter what we say, you'll probably end up choosing the one that most floats your boat aesthetically. The good news is that either way you'll be making a sound decision. Without the luxury of a back-to-back -back test it seems that the BMW still has the edge for handling, but the Mercedes makes up for that by co-sitting you more with its sumptuous ride, at least as tested here. If only that was supplemented by a smoother diesel engine, it might even be a class leader, just like its big S-class brother. Mercedes-Benz C220 D Coupe AMG Line Location Surrey, on sale now, price £36,460, engine for styles. 2143 cc twin turbocharged diesel power 168 bishop at 3000 4200 rpm to work 295 pounds for at 1400 2800 rpm gearbox 9 spd automatic curb weight 1615 kilograms top speed 145 mph 062 mph 7.5 scc Economy 68.9 mpg combined coat to flash tax band 109g slash kilometers.